Welcome back to Sims for Seniors. This is Gil, Gil Black, otherwise known as the creature from the Black Lagoon. So for him to live in our world, he's going to need a lagoon. I also think he needs a waterfall. This is the effect that we're going to go for. I will bulldoze the lot. We'll start from scratch so you can see how I'm going to build Gil his home. I'm going to start with turning some cheats on. So remember, it's Control Shift C, Move Objects on. We will also have Testing Cheats True. DB Show Hidden Objects. And BB dot show live edit objects. First thing we'll need to do is build his lagoon. So we will go into terrain tools. We are going to lower the terrain. I want it kind of blurred. I don't want it to go super fast. So we'll set it right about here to adjust the speed. I'm going to get a little smaller circle, about like that. And we will start to lower terrain to get him a lagoon. And he doesn't need a big one because we want to save room for the waterfall. And on the bottom, we want to level that out. I'm going to use flatten terrain. We're going to pick one of the lines and go to about that height so that we have a nice smooth bottom. And we don't want it too shallow, but we also don't want it too deep. So I'm just going to hold, click, smooth it back and forth. The next thing we're going to do is smooth the edges. You cannot use terrain paint where it's brown or sandy, depending on the world that you're in. We'll go to smooth terrain, a little smaller. I'm going to go back to where I can see what's happening here on the land. We'll kind of just lightly click, smooth this out. Here we go. Next, we're going to get to our water tool. This will raise water, lower water, fill to height. Let's fill to a height right about here. That'll work good for our waterfall. That might be a bit too much. Let's lower the water. A little bit more. There we go. You can kind of see the edge of our basin. Now we have the beginnings of our lagoon. Next thing we will do is build three tiers and you will see why here in a second. So we're going to go to the room tool and build something about like this. I'm not sure how many tiles that is. We want the same. What I'm going to do is copy and then paste another one. Copy, paste another one. Copy, go up one level. And we'll paste one on top here. And another one. Copy, go up a level, and paste one more. So you can see we kind of have a stair step. This is where we're going to put the waterfall. Now, in order to get to the waterfall, we will have to go into debug items. With the cheat codes we typed in earlier, that gives us debug. So we will search debug. And it really doesn't matter which debug you click on. The individual waterfalls are in Island Living. Let's go to PAX. I think that's where they are. I think it's Island Living. There it is. Island Living. Okay, so in Island Living and the debug down by the plants, you're going to find a piece of a waterfall. I am going to pull out three of those, maybe a fourth one just in case. 
because when you scroll through, sometimes it's so easy to miss these things. All right. There we go. We are going to, and then it's not necessary, but it makes it look better if you go to the pool, create a pool on each one of these levels, and paste another one. Then we'll take our waterfall pieces to rotate them. Sometimes it can be hard to see. All right, we got that one where we want it. Come on. I'm going to use the Alt key. Try to nudge it in there a little bit better. There we go. We're not on the bottom level. I think that's my problem. There we go. So we've got the waterfall there. And we're going to adjust this when we get some color and some rocks. But you can see if you look from the side, I still have it turned the wrong way. Now we got a waterfall going on there. All right, waterfall placed. Let's get another one. And again, I'm going to look at the, from the side so I can see where we're going with this. I'm also going, I will also go up a level. And place it here. And like I said, if it doesn't line up just right, wait till we get some other things in here and it'll be easier to see. As you can see, this one's it's over too much. We may have to use our nine key. Bring it up a bit. There we go. Use Alt, slide it over. Let's place a third one. And there we go. Now we're going to start adding some rocks and color to these levels and it makes it much easier to tell where your waterfall is. I am going to stay into Island Living. Let's do the outside of our tiers. Wall pattern. Go with maybe a rock. There we go. Lava rock. One more shift and click. There we go. Now we need to do these tops. And I think that's a floor piece. Let's see what they have in Island Living that might match that. I'm still sorted by Island Living. What is this? Lava bubble. Well, that was lava something, so we'll try that. And of course, true to fashion. I forgot to paint these sections. And now you can see with that we can start seeing where the waterfalls are actually jutting out. Probably need a different trim. Something dark. Go. And the edges of the pool, pool trim. You get something dark. There we go. That blends that in nicely. Okay. All right. At this point, if you want to go back to live mode and just take a peek. Yeah, we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Back to build mode. And since we got all of this from Island Living, I want to sort again. I want to debug. I want to debug again. And let's get the rocks from Island Living. This doesn't have to be Island Living. Um, I would just stay consistent with what pack you're going to use. So it all blends in. And we want the rocks. Where's the rocks? 
Now this part is really pretty simple. Just start putting the rocks so they look like they blend in. Let's go down. Let's get our rocks in there. Mm, don't like that one. Let's see if I like this one better. That's the same one. Let's try this one. And we want it to kind of look like the water seeping through it. I'm going to hold the Alt key. No, I don't want it down there. Let's move it up. Oops. Back. Get our rocks again. They kind of curve inward, so let's flip them around. And move on. Get another set. Use the nine key if you need to to bring it up. Also, bracket if you want it larger. That'd be your right bracket. Let's go back to live mode. And I can see right now my waterfalls probably need to come forward a little bit. And this is just personal preference. There you go. See how that looks like it's coming through the rocks? I like that. Let's try with this one. And it's, it's trial and error on where to place these. I'm going to take that waterfall down. Just a little bit. Back a hair. That's why I like to toggle between live mode. Let's see what that looks like. Like this. I think this one needs to come back some. Maybe place the rocks up a little bit more. And so this is not rocket science. It's tedious. Move that waterfall. There we go. That's about where I want it, I think. You can see I lost one of the sections of waterfall. That's why I always pull out an extra one. So we're going to go up here. Let's turn around. Yeah. Sometimes it's so much easier with this kind of stuff looking at it from the side than the front. Let's go to live mode. And I think you can see what we're going for. I'm going to add rocks here all the way around and some plantings. And then we will continue with Gil's house. He's in the original creature from the Black Lagoon. There was a boat and they're on the Amazon. So we might need maybe a river, maybe a boat. I don't know. We'll give it a try. Okay, so we have our waterfall. We still need to use terrain paint to finish the pond. Add some plants. I think another good thing would be to put some accent lighting into the waterfall and the pool. So next time we will tackle landscaping and terrain tools. Until then, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed and have a great day.